Soyuz AMNTK in Russia has developed the R579-300 turbojet engine, a state-of-the-art aircraft propulsion system that is specifically designed for vertical takeoff and landing VTOL aircraft. The sophisticated design features and high-performance capabilities of this engine are reflected in its classification as a fifth-generation turbojet. In contrast to many modern engines that depend on complex materials and technologies, which can result in production delays, this engine prioritizes efficient design solutions that optimize manufacturing processes. The R579-300's high propulsion capability is one of its most notable features. The engine is capable of generating a maximal afterburner thrust that ranges from approximately 21,000 to 23,000 kg force. This level of thrust is essential for VTOL operations, as it is required to generate substantial power for takeoff and landing in confined spaces. Furthermore, the engine is equipped with an adaptive bypass ratio and an adjustable compression ratio, which enable it to optimize its performance in a variety of flight conditions. This adaptability not only improves thrust output, but also enhances fuel efficiency, rendering it suitable for a variety of aircraft configurations. Additionally, the engine boasts remarkable power generation capabilities. It is capable of connecting a capacity exceeding 40 megawatts to its shaft, which is useful for the operation of auxiliary systems or supplementary technologies on board the aircraft. Additionally, the engine's design allows for the production of a robust flow of cold air, which can be used for gas dynamic control in VTOL aircraft. This feature is particularly valuable in military applications due to its potential to reduce the size of aerodynamic controls and lower the radar signature of combat aircraft. The engine has a specific fuel consumption of 0.398 kg per kilogram force per hour, with a bypass ratio of 5.62 and a gas temperature at the turbine inlet of 1,630 Kelvin. The R579-300 is currently being investigated for a number of roles within the Russian military aviation sector in terms of applications. It is being considered for inclusion in the development of light multifunctional fighters and the integration into new VTOL aircraft designs. In addition, there is potential for its application in strategic unmanned aerial vehicles that are capable of reaching speeds exceeding Mach 3 to Mach 4. The decision to use a turbojet engine such as the R 579-300 for specific applications rather than a turbofan engine is based on a number of performance characteristics that are characteristic of turbojets. In comparison to turbofans, turbojet engines generally have a higher thrust-to-weight ratio, which is crucial for VTOL operations that necessitate a significant amount of propulsion for vertical takeoff and landing. The thrust levels of the engine are essential for the rapid and efficient lifting of large payloads. Additionally, turbojets frequently feature simpler designs than turbofans, which results in increased reliability and reduced maintenance requirements. This is a significant advantage in military environments where operational availability is of the utmost importance. Turbojets are also more effective at higher speeds and altitudes than their turbofan counterparts, rendering them appropriate for combat scenarios that necessitate high maneuverability and rapid acceleration. Innovative control mechanisms are enabled by the R579-300's capacity to generate a robust flow of cold air, in particular VTOL applications. This capability has the potential to reduce the necessity for large aerodynamic surfaces and improve stealth features, which is a critical factor for modern military aviation. Additionally, it can facilitate gas dynamic control. The R579-300 turbojet engine is currently in the development phase and has the potential to be integrated into a variety of aircraft platforms within Russian military aviation. AMNTK Soyuz ongoing development intends to continue the legacy of previous engines, such as the R79 V300, which was used in the Yak-141 VTOL aircraft. Experts consider it a viable alternative for the development of new light multifunctional fighters or strategic UAVs capable of high velocities, despite the challenges associated with integration into existing platforms like the Su-57, which are primarily due to size discrepancies. The R-579-300's readiness timeline remains uncertain. Despite the absence of specific dates in the available sources, 
it is understood that development and testing processes frequently experience delays, which are frequently seen in advanced aerospace projects. Thorough testing will be necessary prior to any operational deployment in order to guarantee reliability and performance. So how does it differ from the F-35B's Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine? The F-135 is equipped with a distinctive three-bearing swivel module that enables the engine nozzle to pivot at a 45-degree angle for a short takeoff and at a 90-degree angle for a vertical landing. This design allows the F-35B variant to perform Stovall maneuvers efficiently. The thrust of the F-135 engine is approximately 19,500 kg force, which is marginally lower than that of the R-579-300. However, it has been optimized for multi-role capabilities across various operational environments. The operational mechanisms and design intentions of these two engines are the primary distinctions. The R-579-300 is a turbojet that is well-suited for military applications that require rapid acceleration and maneuverability, as it boasts exceptional high-speed performance and high thrust-to-weight ratios. Nevertheless, turbojets have the potential to produce heated jet streams that can cause damage to runways during VTOL operations, a challenge that has been historically recognized. In contrast, the F-135's turbofan design enables more efficient fuel consumption at subsonic velocities and reduces noise levels during operations. Versatile flight profiles that are indispensable for ground strike missions and carrier-based operations are enabled by the pivoting nozzle technology of the F-135 engine. Now, do you think Russia should make R-579-300 as a turbofan for fuel efficiency? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.